Hi, this is Manali and I work in customer support for PMC MyIT. This video is going to give you an overview of how to configure entitlements from BMC Service Request Management so the end user can see the required SRDs in MyIT. In the part 1 of this video, we will see how to create people qualification and service request definition qualification on how to create entitlement with packages and how to validate user Please watch the part 2 of this video. Entitlements enable you to control user access over the services. In Service Request Entry Console and in My IT, you have multiple service requests and multiple users who can access and submit them. Using entitlement, you can control which users are allowed to view and submit which service request. There are two ways to configure the entitlement. The first one is that you can create one package and group several SRDs into it and create an entitlement rule for that. Another is you can configure entitlement rules using the combination of user, roles, group, location, categorization and service level attributes. Any combination of these attributes can be used to determine if a user can view and access the service request definition. An entitlement rule includes following two qualifications. First one is the people qualification that defines a set of people who will have that entitlement. The second part is the SRD qualification that defines the service request definition included in the entitlement. In the entitlement console and service request management, you can choose if you want the entitlement rule to be applied to the global SRDs. You can select no which is the default and the entitlement rules does not apply to global SRD. Using this, you can create few global SRDs which any user can submit without the entitlements. If you select yes and if you are using the create service request on submit option for BMC incident management, change management or work order management, then you must create an entitlement rule for these three system SRDs to support this functionality. You also have the option to validate the user to determine which user is able to see how many service request definitions. After creating entitlement rules and qualification, you can validate them for particular users. You can also flush the entitlement cache once the new entitlement rule is created or the existing one is modified to take effect. Now let's take a look on how we can do this. Log into my IT as administrator and go to application administration console. In custom configuration, go to service request management, open entitlement and open entitlement management. Now we will see an example on how to create entitlement. In my IT console right now, user Alan is able to see these four SRDs. We will go to entitlement management console and click on create. In people qualification name, click on create. Enter the people qualification name and from AR username we will select Alan. You can also create this rule for particular company, entitlement group, location and advanced qualification. Click on save. Now we will create the rule for SRD qualification. Click on create. Enter the SRD qualification name and we will select the SRD. Save the changes, click on people qualification name and select the Allen user rule from the menu. Click on SRD qualification name and select Allen SRD rule. Save the changes. In entitlement management, in order to enable the entitlement, you have to select the option of enabled. It will show you a note that the entitlement has now enabled. Login into my ID as Allen. In Catalog Console, you would be now able to see that Alan can only see the guest Wi-Fi request for which we have enabled the entitlements for. For more information and configuration, please refer to our online documentation on configuring entitlements in BMC Service Request Management. That's all in this session for right now. Thank you for watching.